tried to tried to call you. Uh, I guess it was the I wrong know. number. I'm sorry. Yeah, wrong number. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Moving I, back. Thought, I thought she was giving. I thought she was giving the brother the the, the brush off. The, <laughs> yeah. No, no, I reached out to you. Be like, like be like, yeah, this uh, be like, yeah, I don't want to uh. Let me see. I, in order to get rid of this guy, let me give him a 900 joke number. There we go. <laughs> That's what's so no, that is all. All right, so we're gonna get into it. We about to start this podcast. What's going on, everybody? Lockout men, back, back, I'm back again in the same night. Man, awesome, awesome interviews, man. I mean, you guys, man, listen, awesome interviews. Uh, very good interview with my man Jeff. Definitely an awesome interview with my uh, with my girl AC. And now I'm back with another female trainee. You 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 coming into the yeah. game, right, trainee? Uh, yes, I am. Still coming in into training. the game. She is coming into the game. Let's watch. But before I get to that, let me show you me. What's up, guys? Lockout men in the truck on the 30 back again for another podcast interview for you guys tonight. Tonight, this young lady popped up on my YouTube recommendations. Here she is. That is her right there. And y'all see right there in her title, Prime Inc. Training. Yes, that's why she popped up in my timeline because I, I I got everything primish. So every everything primish is gonna always pop up in my timeline. It's gonna pop up in my timeline. So let's uh let's let's check out that video. Let's let's check out that video. Let's let's see what she got to say. <laughs> So I hit 50,000 miles last week, yay me. Um, but along the way, I've had a couple accidents, not huge accidents, minor accidents, where I've messed up two trailers. So they're not allowing me to upgrade right now, bummer. Um, so I have to go back to my terminal and find, speak to safety and find out exactly what they want me to do before I upgrade. I don't know if it's extra miles or what it is. Actually. Which video are you checking out? That sucks. That sucks that uh that she had to go back to uh that she had to go back into in the safety just uh just just because of that. But we're gonna get into all of that. Let's welcome Kitty the trucker to the show. What's going on, Miss Kitty? Thank you, thank you. Nothing much. Um, like I said, I just ended myself like an hour and a half ago. My train is now driving so I am actually editing, editing me a YouTube video that I wanted to get posted today, but I didn't have time. So that's what I'm doing right now. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. So you, you are, you are prime trainer, second prime trainee on here. The first one that you guys already seen, if I get that video out prior to this one, maybe, I don't know, but uh, AC the trucker is a prime trainee okay. out there, out there too. I'm, let me see, you you guys probably, probably know each other. You know what I'm saying? Did you just get um, there? Did you just get there recently? No, no, no. See, I, I know AC, though. I do. I follow AC. I subscribe to her channel um, because I saw Queen Trucking post her. So I subscribed to her. Um, but I don't know if she's seen my page. Um, and I've been at uh, Prime for... Uh, uh since august i started august so i'm doing i'm almost done with my tnt phase so oh. i've been there since august i got my tdl back in september september 19th and you had queen trucking on i came through in her orientation so oh okay okay <laughs> okay so you both of you guys went through the same orientation so you so right. you have so you have your cdls already yes i have my cdl i'm in tnt phase i have my cdl I've had them. <laughs> February nineteenth will be six months. I've had my CDL. Okay, 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 okay. So you, so, 
So you up and beyond now, okay? So for my listeners that don't know who you are, man, give a give a little snapshot about yourself and where you come from. So I am from Georgia, a little small town called Buena Vista. It's right outside of Columbus, Georgia, um, but I currently stay in Atlanta. And um, I've been in corporate America. Uh, I don't know, ten, fifteen years. I've worked in hospitals. Um, in Georgia, I've worked in hospitals in New York, and um, I've been back in Georgia for about two years now, and I was, you know, doing my same job. I work behind the scenes at the hospital, a revenue cycle analyst. I've been that for seven years, and in order for me to climb higher, I needed my bachelor's degree, and I only have my associates, and I didn't want to pay to go to school, and so I was like, you know, I've got to think of something else. And I've always um, had trucking in the back of my head somewhere. You know, I would kind of play with the idea over the years. I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. Let me just, you know, stay on this path. You know, that's a little bit too risky. You know, I don't know what's out there. So, um, but I got to a point in my life where I was like, this isn't it. You know, Um, I feel like I felt stuck. And I got tired of going to work every day, sitting behind a desk. So, um, yeah, I said, hey, let me actually give trucking a try. Okay, now I was about to I was about to stop you, and and ask mm-hmm. you about uh about your decision, from jumping from the hospital field into the trucking field because ain't the hos- don't the hospital field pay good? It does. I mean, it pays well. Um, I wasn't making bad money at the hospital, but I had. You know, I've been making that same amount for a while now. And in order for me to climb higher, I needed a bachelor's degree. I needed that piece of paper. And while I have the experience, you know, you know, people are looking for that piece of paper. And I was like, I'm not paying to go back to school for something that I know how to do. So I just said, um, yeah, I'm walking away from this. Wow. <laughs> and I wanted to travel more and see, you know, see more things. And I'm a risk taker. My friends tell you, when I told my friends, that I was about to become a truck driver, they were like, no, wow, you're crazy. No, no one way. took me serious. <laughs> no one took me serious. And I'm 33 years old. So they were like, what? Yeah, so. So that's how, so you you 33, you have any kids? No. Oh, no. okay, okay. How about, how, how did your parents or your loved ones took the fact that you decided to go into truck driving? Honestly, I did not tell anyone until I passed my CDL test. So you made it. <laughs> so you made it like a surprise. Goes, yes, I called them. I said, "Hey," because at first I actually wasn't going to tell them until I actually upgraded to my own truck. Mm-hmm. But I got so antsy and I wanted to post and all that kind of stuff on social media. So after I got my CDL one day, I just went and told my family, "Like, hey, this is what I did, guys." Um, and they were real supportive. Um, at first, I, you know, I didn't know how they would take it, but they were real supportive um, in the end. So oh, okay, 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 okay. They love checking out my YouTube videos now, you know, to see what I'm doing out here. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, now, being that your YouTube video is so so new, you pretty much started out the same, uh, about the same time that you started trucking, right? Uh, my YouTube? Yeah, or maybe I, hold oh, on, hold on, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to jump, I'm about to jump onto your page now. You, okay. Okay. You, you only got three videos. Where's the rest of them? I only have three videos. I just, I know, I, let me tell you, okay. So, I wanted to start my YouTube channel, um, at the upgrade phase. Uh-huh. But, when I found out I wasn't going to get to upgrade, I said, let me go ahead and start my YouTube channel because I wanted to get my story out there. Um, I, I honestly, when I first got to Prime, I kind of tried to tell my story on Instagram and Snapchat, mm-hmm. but it wasn't really working for me. And so uh, I was like, you know, I'm going to give the YouTube thing a try. But I was like, I'll wait till we do the upgrade. So, yeah, again, I... When I did the 50,000 miles, I was going to start from that process, you know, tell my story from that process. But, you know, that bombed. I had to do 20,000 more miles. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. So there's only three videos. My fourth video will be going up tomorrow, hopefully. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm very new at the YouTube thing. So 50, so 50, I'm reading it, 50,000 50, 
50k miles completed why i can't upgrade so what what actually happened i mean you it showed you showed that you ran in a couple <laughs> of things and had some little bit of mishaps right. but what actually mm -hmm. ha what actually happened and what was the uh what was what was if you don't mind what was the conversation between you and safety in that regards um they told me that you know i had two accidents um one um was i hit a tree that's the one that i actually showed on the video mm -hmm. and the other one was me being absent-minded um we was at a uh, receiver and this was before i actually learned how to back the truck so mm -hmm. my trainer was sleeping i was so I was so hyped to, you know, do this back by myself right. that instead of me going out far enough and swinging out, I had trailers on my left and I was making a left turn. So instead of me going out far enough and making that left, I was so worried about getting close to the trailers to do a to do my back. Okay. So I took that trailer and that's what happened the second time. So the thing is, it was it was a prime trailer. So. Um, that was a prime trailer, and plus I hit the, the, the low tree, and that was a prime trailer, too. Um, initially, I had talked to other people that have had accidents at prime, and they're like, oh, yeah, they're going to give you 10,000 miles an accident. And, you know, I was like, of course I was upset, but nobody called me. Stacey didn't tell me that when I, I spoke to Stacey then. They didn't say anything. Uh, no one called me within that week, and everybody else was like, yeah, they called me immediately and told me I had another 10,000 miles. And so I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe because it was prime truck, you know, right. prime trailer set. If it, you was, know, if it, was, another tra if it was another trailer or something like that, right. it probably would have been different. Right, and so I thought they were going to let me fly. You know, no, you know, no one said anything. And so, um, again, we hit the 50,000 miles, and so we called into – Talk to my dispatch and like, yeah, we got fifty thousand ready to come in, and he was like, yeah, um, safety want to talk to you first. So when when I did go in and I speak to safety, they basically said um, that I had to do ten thousand miles for each accident. Wow! And you know, being that it's the weather, it's it's the it's the winter time, and they were like, yeah, it's better that you kind of get more experience anyway. And I kind of wanted to touch on, and I also had heartbreak, um, critical events. I don't know if that's with every trucking company that they have these critical yeah. events. So yeah, they, out here. well, so, well, some some companies have uh, what you call the bandit system. It's uh, I'm mm -hmm. not sure I'm not sure if you guys have it. I would I would assume that you guys do, but like your like if you loop if you move out of your out of the lane, it'll beep. Um, if you yeah, hard, that if you, lane departure. yeah, lane departure, it'll beep. If you ride so close, it'll beep, and it a it a it is sort of like a little snitching type device. You know what I'm saying? It writes right. it writes up an event on your Qualcomm, and it sends it over to safety. And sometimes sometimes safety will probably overlook it because you know it's just natural everyday driving habits but you mm -hmm. know you probably might have sticklers like from the company which i was recently at they would you know if i do a hard break or something like that i would get a qualcom message back saying uh you you did you did 65 in the 55 mile an hour speed zone slow down oh wow <laughs> or or you or you had a critical you had a critical heart breaking or or the camera the camera will go off and you know see me driving and all like that and they'll call mm -hmm. me up and be like uh there's like something obstructing ob obstructing the camera can you move it out the way like man i ain't messing with this camera wow and all that but yeah yeah i i was i was a strict uh a stickler coming from us express that mm -hmm. Anytime you get a call from safety, it's right. never good. It's mm -hmm. it's never ever good. Uh, you know it. Well, I I take that I take that back now with the current company I'm at because if my safety director calls me, I know it's something good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know I did something okay. good. With, I know when he calls me up and tells me, you know, hey. You got the, you know, the court for the quarterly safety uh, bonus program. 
you're number one in the in the in the uh, in the company. I'm like, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but the other two companies, yeah. Every time I get something from Safety, it's never ever good. It's never good. Um, so with Prime, when we have the heartbreaks, they definitely show up for them, and then we'll get a phone call from them, let them, you know, let them. If they're called critical events, then they call us and let us, you know, try to find out what happens, make sure mm-hmm. we're okay, and all that kind of stuff. But in my opinion, critical breaking, I am trying to prevent something from happening. I don't think that's a critical issue that should count against me, you know. But that was also things that counted toward, you know, me um, having to do twenty thousand more miles. Right, so. and. You're almost done now, huh? Well, um, yeah, I've been out here. This is like the third week now that we've been back on the road. So, and hopefully by the end of February, I can upgrade. I have been driving safely. No more incidents. No more critical events. And like I said in the video, I had gone 30,000 miles anyway without any incidents. So, you know, I've been, I watch my trailer like a hawk now. That trailer does nothing without my eyes on it. So, you yeah, know. it's all about, I'm it's not just, it's not it. just driving the tractor. It's definitely not just driving the tractor. It's driving the, it's driving the trailer too. Right. So, man. So now that I've done that, you know, um, I watch it like a hawk. So no more mistakes like that. So man, coming from the hospital to be a to be a truck driver, that was that was that a a life altering decision that you that you that you made? Was it like a culture shock coming from there, coming into the trucking community? It was, but it's one that I welcomed because I wanted freedom. The freedom out here, um, and I well. It's not on any of my videos. I had blue hair when I first got the prime, okay? They would tell you, the girl with the blue braids, you know, the freedom I have out here to kind of be myself, I really enjoy that. Okay. Um, versus, you know, having to go into the hospital every day and, you know, look at four walls and, and have on black ties and suits and all that kind of stuff. You know, it was a shock. It's different out here, but I, I welcome it. I definitely walked with it. All right. So since you had to go back and uh, do about two, what is it, two, two, two uh, 20,000 more miles uh, to uh, mm-hmm. upgrade. And what was your, what was your biggest, what was your, what do you think was your biggest failure in that? And what did you learn from it? Uh, well, Kind of what I learned from it, it was definitely a, a attitude adjustment for me because I at first I was like, even when they first told me, like, you'll get 10,000 more miles, I kind of said, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave the company. Right. But uh, that kind of adjusted my attitude. You know, when I looked into it, it's like, you know what? Prime put this much into you. You put a lot into Prime already. You know, it's not like it's unfair that they're giving you these extra miles because you did make the mistake. So um, I think that was kind of something that I learned, a good attitude adjustment um, from that experience. And I also learned to watch my trailer like a hawk, like okay. I said. So That's what's up. Uh, that's what's up. That's what I walk away with that from. That's what's up. So before you uh, before you got into truck driving, who who were some of the people that influenced you to get into this, into this gig? <laughs> well, um, I had a couple friends who were truck drivers, uh, and, you know, I was encouraged by them to go ahead and just check it out because, I, like I said, I wanted something different. They was like, what are you afraid of? Just do it. You know, you're only afraid because you don't know what's going to happen. But that's how we expand in life. That is how we grow. You take leaps. And so just do it. Um, and so that friend of mine, you know, he, he kind of talked to me, talked to me and talked to me. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I'm just going to I'm just going to do it. And I have a friend whose father is a truck driver, and I talked to him a little bit. He gave me a little advice about being out here. And, um, yeah, I just decided to go ahead and take the leap. Um, I do things – I don't – I will talk to a couple of people about a decision that I'm going to make. But a lot of times, if I get something in my head, I'm going to do my research on it. I'm going to, um, you know, try to uncover everything, turn over every stone. And if I feel like it's, it's good for me, then I'm going to do it. Um, I don't really look to other people to put input on my life 
because I'm living it, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, I, and that's why I kind of kept it to myself. I told very few people in the beginning because I didn't want the negativity out there. You know, are you sure you can do that? That's a big old truck. Are you going to be scared? I'm scared. You know, all that kind of stuff. I didn't want all that negativity. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I kind of my own shift always <laughs> that's what's up that's what's up man and that sounds good that you uh that that you taking everything that you learning and taking it all in stride uh was prime your was prime your first choice as far as uh as far as getting in getting into the game to get your cdl license through um prime was what i was i was recommended prime and I did look at other companies. I looked at Swift and I looked at Snyder because I am from Georgia. And so I looked at those two companies, but um, I was recommended Prime. And then I had spoke to other people and they had been with Prime. It's like everybody that I spoke to that kind of um, was been out here recently. And I'm not talking about in the game for years, but just kind of got into the game a few years ago, two or three years ago. They had come to Prime. And I was like, wow, everybody's going to Prime. So I looked harder into Prime. And when I called, uh, my recruiter, my recruiter was the greatest guy ever. Um, everything that he told me um, is exactly what I've been through that time. So okay. I didn't feel like I was tricked or anything um, with my recruiter. I know how sometimes recruiters tell people things just to get them in the door, just to get that, um, I guess, commission or whatever they get for it. But um, everything that I learned about Prime has been um, true. So, yeah, they were they – were, my number one um, from the beginning. You you know what? Since you mentioned about recruiters, you know I made the call to these uh, recruiters out here, and uh, I right. talked to several different companies to get information for these drivers out here, so they'll know what to inspect, uh, what to inspect when they you know call and talk to uh, one of them recruiters. I had an issue. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say an issue. I, I, the video is going to be released tomorrow. Actually, because of oh, okay. because of what happened, because of what happened, it made me up the videos because I had, you know, today is January thirtieth, twenty twenty. Because this video right here won't come out until probably late, you know, later in February, and then you guys going to be like. Mm-hmm. You guys gonna be like, the hell are you talking about? The video's already out, but, but, okay. I I called a re- I well, a recruiter came into my uh, into my Facebook post, and you know okay. they was they you know they was advertising the for company. Prime? No, not for Prime. This is for oh. a different company, and they was advertising their company in the in the Facebook. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. This what. This is what new age recruiters do now. They use social media to reach out to some potential drivers. So when I sent when I sent my information to them and I said, "Yo, uh I said, "Yo, I'm curious about your company. Give me a call." You know, I use that as a reverse so I can get them on, you know, get them on the show. But the recruiter was familiar with my show. And she didn't want oh. to come on. So me being the curious cat that I am, I still wanted to know about the company. So what I did was call them anyway. So when she found out, you know, when she figured out who I was, she was like, she didn't want to be recorded. I said, cool. I respect that. No problem. You're not being, you know, you're not being recorded. Yada, yada, yada. I would still want to know about the company. You know, give me some, you know, you you're in social media promoting the company, so I'm giving. Right, so why can't you speak about it? Right, I'm giving you a floor to promote your company to get you know to get it out to a vast majority of people because I got people that watch the videos, and nine times out of ten, at least one of them is going to call you, and they're going to say, "Yo, I saw that video, I I saw your company." on lockout men's video that's why i'm calling but she man she she didn't want she didn't want to give no type of information she didn't want to be on she didn't want to have nothing to do with nothing so clearly something shady right and that's and and that's what my co-hosts 
thought too. So when you definitely watch the video tomorrow, you you'll know who I'm talking about. I will about. check well, it out. You'll tomorrow tomorrow when you know it's January twenty twenty. <laughs> I, <right> I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so what I wanted to do a quick plug to my my Instagram page. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I I'll get to that because your Instagram page is hot. I'm gonna have to I'm I'm gonna have to get to that in a minute. In, in a minute. Which Instagram page though? I, I don't, <laughs> you, I, know, you, you got you too. got you got two of them. And we we're gonna right. talk we're gonna talk about both of them in a minute. But I I want to know what were some of the resources that helped you along the way to get into trucking. myself <laughs> to be honest with you yes. like i said i i'm not new out here or young out here in the world period i'm 33 years old i'm pretty established mm -hmm. so you know i was able to kind of maneuver it on my own i don't know if that's the uh the typical answer but yeah uh, i kind of did that, it by myself that that works hey that whatever answer you want to give yo I, that, that <laughs> works for me that works for me all right, so check it out. Check it, check, check, check it out. I got, I got to get into, you know, to get in, to, to, to get into your life a little bit because, you know, a lot of people, you know, people don't, don't know the behind, you know, the, the behind the grind, the behind the hustle of a, of a mentality of this young lady right here, Kitty the Trucker. So I got some quick questions for you. You ready? Right. I'm ready. All right. Hold on right quick. Got to gotta pull it up. All right. Sleep, hot or cold? What was the question? Hot. When you, go, when you go to sleep, do you sleep with the heat on or with the heat off? Heat on. Heat on. <laughs> okay. That's what's heat up. On. Yes. Cash or card? Card. Def definitely, huh? Ice cream cone or waffle? Waffle. Waffle. Ice cream scoop or shake? Shake. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna switch it up. Uh, Arby's or Hardee's? <sighs> Neither, <laughs> because okay, real quick, I am a vegetarian, so my options are very, very slim everywhere. I eat so much Subway salad; it is ridiculous. So Subway, I, I guess. <laughs> All right, Subway. Yeah, I got. Yeah, it's out here. Out here, man. For us truckers, there's there's really not. It's really not good. It's really not good food out here for us out at here, to all. be honest. There's none out here at all. I mean, luckily, you know, like I said, if I want to sit down and eat, luckily we got Iron Skillet, we got Denny's. But in all these other places, you know, like down here in the south, it's like it's a Arby's at every freaking Love's. I mean, I at least yeah, want. I, they're everywhere. I at least want a McDonald's breakfast sandwich. At least let me rock out with that. But it's like a Arby's. Mm. I'm. I. I don't feel Arby's all like that. I don't feel it like that. All right. All right. Hey, you're like my trainer. My trainer doesn't like Arby's either. I try to take him anywhere but Arby's when he starts his shift. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Stab a brother or shoot a brother. Have because it's personal. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get <laughs> you want to get up close and personal. Me, <laughs> if it's at that point, I'm, it's definitely personal. Okay. <laughs> Mary J. Blige or Faith? I didn't hear it. Mary J. Blige or Faith? MJB. 
<laughs> you say Mary J. Blige all day. You know what? I'm gonna yes, I, 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 I'm gonna switch it up. I'm I'm gonna switch it up because everybody oh, choo- everybody chooses Mary J. Blige. So I'm about to I'm about to switch it up. Let me hold on. Give me a second. Let me think. Let me let me think. Who's um. Uh... <laughs> Oh damn it, man! You, that, you know what? You know what? I'm stumped uh-huh. because I can't. I, between the two, I can't come up with nobody else. Between the two, it's it's either Mary J. Blige or Faith. For real, definitely. Let me ask you a question: Lizzo or Cardi B? Or Rihanna? Who? Ooh, Rihanna. That's my girl. I love me some hey, Rihanna. Hey, listen. That's what I wanted to hear. See, we friends have a lot out here. I, I love me some Rihanna. I man, look, you, man, Rihanna. Even though she haven't came out with nothing in a while, her old stuff still rocks in my iPod. So, uh huh. Um, what I just said, uh, Cardi B or Lizzo? Listen, Cardi B all day. I'm a Cardi fan. You're a Cardi fan. Okay. Is that okay. is 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 that is that because you from because you from you said you're from New York, right? Don't don't let me trip. I, uh, no, no I Georgia. In New York for seven years. No, uh, Cardi's I'm from, from Georgia, New- but I, okay. I lived in New York for seven years. You oh, okay, okay. What was what was New York life for you up there? Let me tell you, I was nothing but like I told you, I'm from a real small town called Beautiful. Okay, mm-hmm. very small, and New York was a a whole new world. You want to talk about culture shock? New York was so different when i first got there like i I cried my uh my first week it it was it was it was a lot it was the pressure every everything was moving so fast and i just wanted to slow down you know um i got wet i i didn't have my rain boots on it was just so much that i had to learn in such a short short period of time yeah so the first week I, i really did cry but um i got the hang of it i love new york now you know yeah new york is fast New York is fast it is. and expensive. Fast and expensive. Very expensive. Yeah, very expensive. All right, all right. So let's uh let's let's uh move on, Cardi B fan. Chicken or beef? <laughs> I told you I was vegetarian. Uh, it, it's <laughs> so a, tofu. It, it's a question on here, so I know you said vegetarian. <laughs> I know. <laughs> thought, thought I'd throw a curb bro there for you. Um Prince or Michael Jackson? Who? Prince or Michael Jackson? I'm a Michael Jackson fan. I love Prince, but I, Michael Jackson for me. All right. I, now, you know, AC said neither. She didn't want to rock AC. with, she didn't want to rock with neither one of them when I said Ace, uh, Prince or Michael really? Jackson. Yeah. I can't wait to see that one. Let me see that one. <laughs> <laughs> Apples or oranges? Oranges. Oranges all day. Oranges all day because you're citrus. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I really just don't like apples. I never liked apples since I was a kid. <laughs> all right, all right. But I love oranges. So, so a person come up to you and offer you something to drink. What do you say, pop or a soda? Soda. That pop is up north. I'm. I still got my southern roots, you know. <laughs> so, so, so soda's down south. But you know, I'm from the Midwest. We rock out with soda too. So. <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay. I, really, honest, for some reason, I felt like you guys were pop. No, no, no. Well, I, me, I'm a soda guy. Well, I, I don't rock with soda no more. But I say soda. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, brother man. Yeah, I don't drink much soda either. I drink. Yeah. I don't drink soda. Unfortunately, I got. But I say soda. Diabetes, so, but I, I, I say soda. All right, Netflix and chill or Hulu and cool. No, no, Netflix and chill all day. Net- I don't even know what is on Hulu. I don't even watch cable. I watch Netflix. If it's not on Netflix, I probably won't be seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> what keeps you motivated out here? A bag. I'm trying to own my own business. I'm trying to open me a nail salon in Atlanta. Um, on, I have a timeline for it, so I'm the bag keeps me motivated out here. Now you know what you just mentioned. You you just mentioned a nail salon. I I had a I I know a female that stayed up in Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio. She moved down to uh, 
she moved down to uh down here to Georgia to open up a nail salon. So is that a mm-hmm. thing that's a thing down here? I thought it was the stripping, but Nail salon is the thing down here now? <laughs> well, listen, I think that time for me has passed. So, <laughs> nail salon it is. Um, I don't know if that's really a thing in Atlanta. Um, I think it's kind of a thing everywhere. Like, if you can get a, a popping nail salon, like, girls love their nails being popping. Like, everybody wants to have the, the nice, cute nails. And you got some places that don't have, um, I guess you could say, like, the more urban nails that just have real basic basic nails, nobody with any real creativity um, to actually make something very nice and unique. So um, nails for me is just what I love. Um, so I'm not really sure if, if people just come to Atlanta to open nails. But yeah, stripping is a thing. But that's just, that's, I can't do that. <laughs> I, 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 I thought it was a thing too, man. All right, so let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's promote your uh, your uh, social media. So right now, let me uh, yes. let me uh, bring this up right quick. Let me uh, let me switch it over. Switch it over right quick. So definitely, you got the uh, you got the YouTube going on with the three videos right now. She just celebrated a uh, hundred subscribers. So yeah, I guys, definitely check that out. And uh, her first Instagram. I I brought up which is Kitty with Kitty the Kitty Kitty the trucker. You just got right. Kitty. You got like Kitty and the all together. That's the uh, one uh, Instagram page right here, right quick. It's, and this this is Kitty the yo trucker. yo hold up hold up hold what? up <laughs> hold up. What is yeah. this right here? Where? <laughs> what was this Mardi Gras? You, you the Archangel? What is this right here? <laughs> what well, you got pulled up? And the nails rocking too. It looked like you was. Look, you got on a. Um, you got on a black, uh, black, angel wings, and it's a uh, and it's a uh, uh, a bikini. Uh, uh, I, I I can't I can't describe it. I guess oh, you gotta you gotta you you gotta go to your Instagram to see what I'm seeing. Are you on Miss Kitty or Kitty the Trucker? No, I am on Kitty the Trucker. I'm on that one. Okay. Oh, let me see what this is. Yeah. You all right? This picture right here look like you holding. I don't know if that's a rock or anything like that, but you holding a, a diamond encrusted cup. You do. You do know that's Rihanna that you look at. So oh, wait. I, oh, my. Okay, that look like you. My bad. My no, it does not. That, that do look like you, damn it. Okay. That do look like you. All right, so that's Rihanna. Guys, six, I six, need six, some glasses. <laughs> Ooh, all right, so the other one, the other one is Miss Kitty. So is that the one you want everybody – that's that's the one you want everybody to follow because I'm I'm following both of them. Yes, Miss Kitty 0303. Um, they can follow both of them, but Miss Kitty 0303 is uh, the one where um that's where I'm active at. Okay, okay. Let's see. Yeah, you do look like Rihanna. You do look like her, a little bit. <laughs> you got the. I, I like I I like this picture. I think I'm going to use this picture as the uh as the bump right here but you got the you got the cute braids going on right there i like that and um you don't have that many pictures on here though so you i do not i strip my page but if you go look at my second picture and scroll through that that picture i wanted to show you those pictures oh right here where you was at the uh look like you at the beach i was at the beach those pictures um this was right before i went to trucking school i um went to trucking school <laughs> but yeah this was right before I came to Prime Inc I um I quit my job I gave them uh, uh their, their little two week notice I quit and I took a month off and I went on vacation to Barbados during crop over time and that's what these pictures are here okay and I when see I went on hold on I, I went back that's Rihanna 
That is Rihanna. Yes. Look at that. You got your <laughs> picture with your girl right there. She's from Barbados, right? She's what? Yeah, she's from Barbados. Okay, yeah. okay. That is her home. So what? Hey, Rihanna, when when is you going to come back out with some more music? That's what I need. I need some I know, more right? music. Yes, sir. Some so, Rihanna music. Definitely, definitely. All right. So, Miss Kitty, uh, Miss Kitty 0303. So, you guys go over there and make sure you check her out. I, I Look, my fault, y'all. Like I said, the picture was so awesome, and it just looked just like her. All right. But that was Rihanna. <laughs> That was Rihanna, but still, they could pass for sisters, right? Y'all, y'all, y'all seen the picture? Y'all seen the picture? They could pass for sisters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I, you know, I haven't, I, I haven't asked much about your, about, about your trainer. So, uh, he's, mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's, it's a he, right? Uh, uh, yeah, it's a guy it's trainer, a, it's a, right? Yes. So, uh. He's uh he's do like I say he's doing the damn thing for you to make sure that you 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 getting out here, learning everything right. Right, he is. Uh, my trainer is he's a really good trainer. Um, we have no issues. Uh, a lot of people, as I know, you know because I know. Mm -hmm. Every so many people have issues with their trainer on these trucks. People always getting off their trainers' trucks and 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 having to get new trainers and then having to get new trainers after that. So um, I feel like I left up. Because it was at least, uh, I don't know, the girls that I kept up with from my class, like, like three or four of them had to get new trainers or get off their trainers' trucks. Even some other people that I know. And, and in the Facebook groups, everyone's always talking about getting off their trainers' trucks. So I feel like I really left up. He, you know, we sometimes we bump heads. But it's like after six months, he's like, he's almost like my best friend out here, okay? But, yeah, we look get along fine. But it's just at the point for both of us. We just want to be solo. I mean, we're fine. We're cool. But, as, you know, he's like, I it's, taught you everything. Right. You know it's, everything. It's There's nothing else I can even teach you. So we're just kind of running team at this point. He even called me his co-driver now. He doesn't even call me his trainee anymore. Is he, a, is, is he a company driver or he's a lease driver? He's a company driver. Oh, okay, okay. My friend company. Would, would, it, would, it happen to be, would that happen to be Junior Hernandez you, you driving with? Would it be what? Would it happen to be Junior Hordoris? I can't pronounce his last name. No, 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 no. no. My trainer name is, is Shandy. Well, Shandon. Oh, okay, okay. Damn yeah. it, man! I need I need to talk to a prime driver that's that's driving with with Junior, Mister Mister Prime himself, Mister Mister. I promote the I promote the company every every minute I get. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I have. What's his? What's his? Is it, what's his YouTube? No, his name is. Uh, I'm surprised you ain't met him, Junior Honduras. I can't pronounce his last name. Honduras. Let me. Let me see. I honestly keep to myself a whole lot. So, Hold on. Let uh, me. That's one thing. Let me. But, uh, let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check him out. Let me. Let me see if I can uh, bring him up right quick. Junior Honduras. Oh, it say try again. All right. Junior Honduras. Then say. According to Wikipedia, condor is the common name for two species of New World vultures, each in a monotypic oh, genus. Hey, hey. Oh, okay. Junior. Hold on. Right quick. Junior <laughs> Honduras. There we go. There we go. Right here. Junior. It's H-O-N-D-U-R-A-S. Uh, I always pronounce his last name wrong. But, but yeah, that's, that's, that's the man, the myth. The primer. Okay, I'm gonna check him out. I just pulled the, him up to Junior yeah, Honduras. The primer, the primer, the myth, the man, the primer. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, Kitty the Trucker, thank you for coming on and chopping it up with me tonight, man. I really do appreciate. Thank you for having that, me. That uh, that you decided to come on here. Uh, I got one last question for you. One last question. I'm ready. What is more important to you, truth or happiness? Out. Truth. Truth. That's what's up. That's Truth. what's up. More important. All right. All right. Eventually, it's gonna come out anyway. So the truth. Exactly. Well, all right, Kitty the Trucker. 
She's uh she's uh well she's not a student. Well she's like a student, but she already got her license. So right, she's right, already part it. of the game. <laughs> You're already and welcome to the L O M community. So definitely don't be no stranger. You know what I'm saying? Six be. or seven months or six months down the line, definitely come back on and let me know how you doing. Or I will call you, you know, me, you know, I will call you like I do Queen Twerking because we, we stay in contact with each other all the time. So, guys, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Damn it, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, mm -hmm. comment, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am your ding, humble ding, host, ding. Lockout Men, Miss Kitty the Trucker. Yo, we're done. I will come back at you guys again with another video. And don't forget, don't forget to hit that like button. Let YouTube know that you're rocking with your boy. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button for for Kitty the Trucker too. And make sure yes, you hit that like button. Make sure you go and subscribe to Miss Kitty the Trucker. You guys have a blessed one, and I'll come back at you with another video. Peace. All right.